Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through my Lightroom 5 workflow for fixing up an architectural photo. I'm using Lightroom 5 because of the built-in straightening features, which are an awesome addition for anyone who takes pictures of buildings. Let's get started. So here's our before image, and as you can see it's crooked and dark, and it looks pretty orangish pink. It's not white balanced correctly. So I'm going to show you how I take something like this into the final image, which is a lot brighter and sharper and straighter and just better in every single way. So let's get started. Now the first thing that I want to do is correct the brightness and the white balance. So I'm going to take the white balance temperature and move it down so it's not so yellowish orange. So I'm going to take that down somewhere around 2800 or so, maybe a little less. Let's try 2750. And then it still has a purplish cast, so I'm going to take the tint down from 16 and make it a little more green, so maybe about 7, let's say 8. And that looks pretty good for the white balance. Next I want to make it a lot brighter, so I'm going to take the exposure up and just slide that to the right until I get a brightness that I think looks good. So maybe 1.3 or so. So that's a whole one and a third stops above what the original exposure was. The next thing that I like to do is go down to clarity and start moving that up to add some contrast back into the image. On architectural photos like this, I usually take it up almost to 100, or in this case, all the way up to 100. Now as you can see, there's a big difference between the brightness of this light up here and the rest of the image. So what I want to do is bring that brightness down on my light to balance out the brightness of my overall image. So I'm going to take my highlights down until that light looks more at home. So in this case I'm taking it down all the way to negative 100. Next I want to brighten up the image a bit by bringing up some of the shadows. So I'm going to drag the shadow slider to the right, maybe about to 75 or so, and that'll just brighten my entire image by lightening some of the dark areas. Now I flattened my image a bit by bringing the highlights down and the shadows up, so I want to add some more contrast back into the image. To do that I'm going to use the whites and black sliders. So I'm going to bring the whites up to about, let's say 75 or so, and that will brighten up our image nicely. Then I'm going to decrease the blacks and start dragging that slider to the left to about negative 45 or so, and that will give us some nice contrast in our image. Now this image looks a little yellower than it does in real life. The white balance is correct, so we need to find a way to take some of the yellow out of this image. And to do that, I'm going to go into the HSL tab, which stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And under the Saturation sub-tab, you can see if I drag the yellow slider up, that it increases all the yellow colors in the image. So what I'm going to do is the opposite and drag that down a bit to take some of the yellow out. So I'm going to take that down to about negative 35. Now our image looks a lot cleaner and a lot whiter, which is what this room looked like in real life. Next I'm going to come into my Lens Corrections panel and go into Profile and Enable Profile Corrections. Lightroom will automatically detect the camera and the lens that I used and correct the distortion and the vignetting. After that, I'm going to go into the Basic tab and check Remove Chromatic Aberration, and that will get rid of any purple or yellow fringing around my lights. Lastly, under the Basic tab, I want to come down here to where it says Upright. You can see that it's turned off right now, so what I want to do is just click Auto to turn it on. Lightroom will automatically analyze all the angles in my image and straighten everything out for me. Now if I press the Backslash button, you can see the Before, and the after. The upright feature in Lightroom 5 is a huge time saver. 90% of the time it'll give you acceptable results without having to go back in and make any manual adjustments. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.